Now, where's all the kids? Yeah, well, they're coming. They'll be here. Oh, we really are going to have yeah. children today? Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope yes. they arrive. We're doing a delicious little mustard sauce for them, and they'll be wonderful. Mm. Mm. That's really sick. Oh. Hi, I'm Larry Bly. And I'm Laban Johnson. <laughs> Welcome and to And today we're doing a children's party, and that's why we're wearing these real swell aprons from our city's child abuse, um, wait a minute, let me say, Tr Child Abuse Prevention Council. And we want you to do nice things for children, and these are a couple of ideas you could do. No matter where you're watching, all That's around right. the United States, and the wonderful land of ours. Absolutely, and these recipes are easy enough that any fool could do it, so <laughs> kids, that means that you could do these recipes at home <laughs> with mommy's help. It means that Laban and Larry can do them too, and we're going to, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, a little cake, <laughs> this is kind of funny, called the best cake I ever ate. And we'll determine later on whether, indeed. Well, well I don't know. I have never eaten it, so oh. how would I know? I haven't even prepared it yet. Dear boys, well, it's from Teresa King of Rustburg, Virginia. It says, Dear boys, uh, love to you. I enjoy your show so much, but you ain't cooking cheap. I am going to send you a cheap recipe. And she's right. This really is a cheap recipe. It can be done for little enough. When I was 10 years old, we had a cook named Ida. Ida. She was a good woman. I, I had her at my house too a couple of times who helped me bake my first cake. I chose this one because it only takes one egg. Oh my. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that's all there is to it, just an egg. Oh, no, no, there's a little no. more to it. I was trying to make a cheap cake since I might ruin it. Uh, it was, I thought I was, that it was the best cake I ever ate, so that's why she named it that. And I must tell you, uh, Teresa, that it is indeed a very inexpensive cake but it is just a little shy on instructions. <laughs> I mean, uh, I have only the most cursory of information regarding oh, don't curse how to children put this on cake this show together. Today, Bly. Yeah, uh, Matter of fact, Bly is talking about redoing this recipe with his own name on it, and it's gonna be called the Cheap Skate Cheap Cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the first things that I found interesting about the cake is it didn't tell you whether it was a sheet cake or a layer cake or what it was or how much it made. <laughs> So you and I talked about this right. yesterday, and we came up, what was the new uh, motto we came up with that one should do regarding oh, right. cakes? Yeah. Uh, don't something your volume. Right. Don't. Uh, don't <laughs> grease your pan until you, you know your volume. Right. All right. Keep so, that in mind. Yeah, write write it down. that down. Write it down. Don't grease the pan up until you know how much you got. Well, the first thing I got to do is I have to take the one egg. Right. The big secret. There it is. Now, what thing. size egg is that, blind? This is an extra large. Today, when I was growing up on the farm, I knew, well, I won't say it, but anyway. <laughs> this, I don't this want to hear it again. Oh. When, I was, when I was coming up, this wasn't nothing at all. Now this is an extra large. Can you believe that? Looks just like a regular egg to me. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to beat the egg and the sugar together until light. <laughs> when I, I started this when it was dark yesterday evening, and I beat that thing until the sun <laughs> came up. <off. laughs> Not very funny, but I did do say, that. Yeah, he beat that egg till the sun came up. <laughs> <laughs> beat it until light, it says. So one egg and one cup of sugar, and I know that Laban's going to really get upset when he sees this, but I have, this is one of the few times this has ever been done on this show, a pre-measured cup. Oh, no, <laughs> we're going to be just like those other cookies. Well, shows. I didn't know whether we had any sugar down here. You know, sometimes we forget to replenish our mm -hmm. supply. So that's a cup of sugar. Yeah. And first thing I got to do now, of course, is beat it until it's light. Uh -huh. <laughs> somebody that's, let like me know. like one of those shows on the Nashville Network where everything they've got, including the final product, is frozen in portions in advance. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the stinky old uh, electric mixer that made it through last season, but probably will not make it through totally this season. Well, you know, that's all right because we've got a new mixer coming. Mary Helvey, a friend of ours, gave us a fine old Hamilton Beach mixer that we're going to all add. the bowls and attachments and everything. So when I remember to bring it next week, we're going to have a wonderful new mixer. Can you smell that? Smells like ozone. I think it's the grease burning up in your mixer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, but it doesn't. It does smell like it's burning up, but I'm sure it's going to make it. In fact, I think it's very frisky this year. Well, I believe that's enough of all that hoo-ha. I've heard just about as much of this mixture as I want to. Now, to that, you will add your milk, some melted butter, and a little 
extract. I'm going to get that all over everything. The milk is <laughs> going to leak out of that measuring cup. It Isn't probably that the one is that's cracked. One cup of the milk. Well, I'm going to I'm going to yeah, do we'll it. Yeah, hold it over the bottom. right over top of it so if it leaks out. And actually, I think the curtain has a leak in it. One cup of milk goes in there. Two tablespoons of melted margarine goes in there. And a little bit of lemon or lemon ec of vanilla, I'm sorry, uh, extract, about one teaspoon of vanilla or other extract. Right. As you can tell, we're real persnickety about oh, what we throw in to this cake. And of course, we recommend that you use pure vanilla extract. So that goes in there. Now what you're going to do is mix that up just a little bit. And that is going to be your liquid portion of it and the sweet portion of it. And I see that the very, oh, it's just going everywhere. I see that the very, <laughs> excuse me. I'm sorry. Well, you've got hold of one of those bowls that's not fit for... No, you're right. This thing throws it all over you. It doesn't matter what you do to it, it throws it all over. It doesn't matter. The you don't have to mix it up. The angle on the bottom of the bowl it's not right. encourages Something slopping. Something is wrong. It just slops right up on you. Now, you got all of that in that bowl, and then you go over here to a little bigger bowl. It's very important that you get your sizes right on this thing. And this is where Which you're going to... Which has been previously used as a helmet. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Helmet Schmidt. <laughs> Whatever that means, I don't know. Over here, we're going to sift our flour, our salt, and our baking powder twice. Har, har. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. I don't sift no flour before it's time. You're an artiste. All of my flour has been <laughs> pre-sifted. <laughs> and I will show you how to get around the mixing of all of the dry ingredients. Now, what we need to do is three. No, we don't need to do that at all. We need two scant cups mm -hmm. of flour two scant cups. Do you think that's a scant cup or is that a scant cup? Oh, I, I don't know. That That's enough. Boom. That's good. That goes in there. And Here, a little salt and baking you. powder. A little salt and baking powder. Well, I forgot to bring my salt. Well, well here, I got wait a minute. Here's some right here. We've well, got a brand some. new. Oh, he has thought of everything. Just a little bit of salt. How much does it call for exactly? Just uh, a third level teaspoon of salt. That's not an awful lot. There no, you go. That, yeah, that's our, Put yeah. that over my Whatever. shoulder. And then a little baking powder. We need three level teaspoons of baking powder. And I went out yesterday and got fresh baking powder. You know, it's good to have fresh. Oh, yeah. If you don't, it'll get flatter and Dixie, and you'll wonder whatever happened to you. There's one, there's two, and there's good. three. Now, <laughs> excuse me. Now, if you don't want to pre-sift, I mean, if you don't want to sift this stuff mm -hmm. over and over again, what I do is put all those things in there, and I, I, and I just whisk it around so that it gets real mixed up. And then you don't have to worry about all that sifting and carrying on. Because it is pre-sifted. Do you sift every time it calls for it? No, because the flour, as you said, is pre-sifted. Now, if it's got a lot of spices and things and you want to make sure that they're distributed through the flour, then I do sift. But all right. uh, Then what we're going to do is add all the liquid to that. And we're going to beat it up real well. Once again, using the electric mixer, or you can spoon beat it, but I think it's, it gets better with the electric mixer. And then I'll be finished up with this part of it, and we'll go to Mr. Johnson. This is a real liquidy cake. Oh, it is. But it's a real fine cake. A real fine cake. And I think that's all we need. Now, <laughs> a little bit more flew off of there after I got finished with it. Now, I have discovered that this makes just about enough for a pan this size. What is that, about eight inches? It's about eight square, all right? About two. And you take just a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of stuff there, shortening, and, and flour it all up real good, and you pour it in there, like so. Any fool can do this part. Oh, how terrible. <laughs> there was a little batch there at the bottom that I didn't get, but pay no attention to it. 
Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. That low-down mixer, I can't help it. But anyway, you throw that in the oven at uh, four, no, 350 for 30 minutes. Or I found in my oven, it actually went 25, and it was just right. I may take wonder. A, a toothpick and put it in there. And don't use a plastic one. A lot right. of fools do that. Take, a, take just a wooden one. And if anything mm -hmm. comes out, you need to leave it in. You know, I wonder if you could put it in a microwave safe pan and bake it in your microwave. So anyway, put that in the oven, bake it up. Now, if we have but, time, I will show you how right. to make a real quick and inexpensive uh, little uh, icing, icing out of just 10x yeah. sugar. But if you try this at home after you get the recipe and do it in the microwave, let us know how it comes Oh, yeah, out. we'd like to know. We are saving our, our uh, stamps and coupons, and we hope that maybe another year or so we'll be able to afford one of those little cheap microwaves here on our cheap show. The other little, Teresa, sketchy little part of this was you didn't tell me what you eat on top of it. She uh -huh. gave me no uh, recipe for any kind of icing or anything. So what I'm doing is an old, simple recipe from back home right. where if you didn't have anything else, you use this. Uh -huh. So if I have time, I'll do it later on. Johnson? Uh, thank you, Bly. Well, I'm going to do a little uh, recipe that kids, you can make at home. And they're called sunflower cheesies, and they're just like little crackers with sunflower seeds in them. And we're going to start out with a cup of flour. And I see I put my flour down here in a measuring cup in the bowl so that when I level it off, I don't put it all over my counter. Well, that was a cup. I'm getting pretty good at that. And we're going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt. Actually, it's a quarter teaspoon of salt. Well, is it a half or a quarter? I, it's, it's a quarter. <laughs> and we're also going to put in a half stick of margarine. And now we're going to oh, cut it in. Now, you can do this with two dinner knives, but this is a little gadget that belonged to my grandmother. This belonged to my actual grandmother, Connie Hodges Bond, May she rest in peace, good woman, taught me a lot about cooking. Your real grandmother? My real grandmother, because you know I have several grandmothers. All right, now, I, you cut this into the flour, and the reason you do this is so that you're, oh, they're giving us that vampire sign again. The reason you do this, boys and girls, is that the flour will be, uh, you'll find that it'll make your crackers flaky. And I know mine turned out that way. So, <laughs> Bly's laughing. We've already tried these out, and they're delicious. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yummy. Uh-huh. And this first couple of times, I wish Grandma was here so she could tell me why this thing doesn't work wrong. Well, she is. I saw her down in the hall <laughs> uh -huh. a minute ago. And they're talking to Rex. They were good friends. <laughs> they went to high school together. Well, and you just have to keep going until your flour and your butter, your shortening, have got up in little lumps like cornmeal. Of course, none of you know what cornmeal looks like anymore. But this just takes a little while. Just have to be patient. But your butter will actually work. And Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's real exciting. Well, I was just waiting for somebody to say something and throw it up in my face about how exciting it was. <laughs> but I do want to make sure that my stuff is all gets mixed up in here. Uh-huh. Because, you know, I just hate to see unmixed ingredients go into a recipe, uh, uh -huh, uh, like some yeah. that we have seen here lately. <laughs> all right, now, anyway, this is, uh, all right, now, he, this is it. This looks like little lumps in here. Oh, it looks like little lumps in there. It's lumpy, but that's all right. That's all cut in. Now, to this, we've got to add one cup of small curd cottage cheese. And there that is, so we can get rid of this stuff. And we're also going to add one quarter cup of sunflower seeds. And let me, whoops, all the sunflower seeds have gotten loose. Well, that's too many, but I'll just 
save uh, some what, for later on. What's that about measuring things carefully? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike These sun some people. <laughs> sunflower seed zolas, there they are. Now, you have to beat all of this up. And that's what I'm doing. And it's going to be a real st stiff dough, boys and girls. Dough boy. Mm-hmm. In this Boy, part. <laughs> Johnson, that does look good. Mm. Now, I personally think, having prepared this recipe in advance, that you could probably put in some little spices here. I think it would be real tasty if it had some cayenne pepper in it, I for think instance. I it needs a little something to peppy it up, a little Because they are right bland. Mm. But then, so are we. Oh. oh, how awful that one got away from you. All right, now i got to move some of this stuff out of the way. Now what you have to do is we got to flour the old board and take approximately half of this goop out. <laughs> the staff is giggling. Well I don't know why. I'm giggling. <laughs> and you want to Doris is giggling. Make it up into a ball, see. You have to knead it just a little bit into this delicious dough here. Oh. I, I, oh, I really know. Well, do. I'm just so, I have to concentrate. This is a hard recipe to do. I really do enjoy watching you work with <laughs> work with dough. Johnson just does it so wonderfully. With you dough. know, I just hate it because mm -hmm. I'm not good at it. Despises working with dough, <clears throat> and he's humiliated most of the time, and has every right to be. All right, now <laughs> we're going to roll it out uh -huh. to approximately the size of this sheet, which oh, is about well, that's twelve be real by thin, sixteen. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be able to read the newspaper through that. I don't know why you'd want to do a dumb thing like that, but uh, while you're rolling it, do, do we want to look at the recipes, well, or we would could. you like to just roll uh, on camera? Well, <laughs> it's up to you. Oh, I whatever just, you want. Oh, look, it's <laughs> okay. Is going well, to stick to best it. cake I ever ate. Real simple: one cup of sugar, one egg, one level teaspoon of butter melted, tablespoon. I'm sorry, two scant cups of flour and a cup of milk. Mix that all together with three level teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of uh, vanilla or other extract and one third level teaspoon of salt. And there you have the best cake I ever ate, we hope. And for the sunflower cheesies, one cup all-purpose flour, quarter cup of margarine, one cup of small curd cottage cheese, a quarter cup of sunflower seeds, whole of course. You know, I have known people that, well, anyway, <laughs> and a quarter <laughs> teaspoon of salt, and that is the truth. Have you ever known anybody to oh, do that? No, don't tell oh, me I that. have. Don't tell me that. And these crackers, now look, I got to tell you the truth, you have got to get these things thin. It says do them to a 12 by 16 thing, and if you get them real fat, they're not going to be good. And I, like Bly says, I have never been noted for this, but I have determined that this year I am going to learn how to roll out stuff so that it doesn't stick to my pen if it's the last thing I do. And it could he be. He said. <laughs> well, it's getting there, slowly but surely. All right, now, they're real thin. Now, you have to cut them into two-inch squares. Now, here is another homemaking tip. Ah. Do not try to cut them like this because they will tear. Take your big knife and put it down and rock it like that. Otherwise, you will tear these little things up and they won't work. And that's because of the stuff that's in the dough. The sunflower seeds will make the, mm -hmm. the little things tear. Oh, I know Grandma's sitting up there on a cloud laughing at me. 
twirl in her halo. But you can get a whole bunch of these if you do it properly. And then you have to come back and you prick them. And you probably ought to have a fork for this, but just stick some holes through them. And that's important too, so that they will get nice and crisp. Okay. Well, is that it? That's it. You put them on a pan, you bake them for 15 to 20 minutes at 325 until they begin to get golden brown around the edges, and you'll have it all done. So that's all our right. Now, wait a minute. You know, Miss Witch said she was going to come in, that she had a request, since we're doing all parties this year, that she had a request for a party. So, uh, Witch, it's time for you to come in and give us your request. And Look then if we have hands. time, I'll show you how to make yeah. a real quick icing. Let's I don't know whether we're going to. Oh, my heavens, she just dropped right in. Oh. Straight down. That's well, always the toughest way. There she goes. <laughs> yeah. She says, witches are coming in from all over for our reunion. What can I possibly do? You know how witchy my people are. <laughs> so, what does well, that mean? next week we'll try to do a little informal family kind of a dinner. Oh, well, that sounds yeah, like that'd fun. That'd be nice. A little informal family party next week. If you have, uh, it could do, you think I should do this? I'll just, just take a second. Well, yeah. The icing? Sure. If you have a cake at home and you don't have any icing going it and you don't want to go to a lot of trouble, usually you can find a recipe on the back of the 10x sugar box. All you do is just take a little pile of sugar and put it in there and some margarine salt. And I am just throwing this stuff from here to Dixie and back. Now, what you need to do at this point, see, is to put just a little cream in there. And you can make it as thick or as thin as you want to and just a little bit of vanilla extract or I used lemon extract for the what we're using today and mm -hmm. it tastes real good. And just do that. And then you can fluff it all up, which I'm not gonna do right now because we don't really have time. And just keep adding sugar oh. until you get the consistency oh, that, that you want. Oh, that looks real good. And, and flop it on there. And this is how it looks when you get finished with it. I put oh, some on top pretty. of this fine cake and it's got a uh, little well, lemon extract. Come on over and let's real pretty. Uh, Real lovely. Let's try it out. All righty. And I want you to see my, my crackers here, my little cheesies. You know they're lovely. Oh, thank you, Laban. Good. Mm -hmm. Cut the cake. Please. Remember that song? Cut the mm -hmm. cake. Who Please? cut the cake? I want you to tell me if indeed this is the best cake you ever ate. Well, uh, now be careful, Teresa's watching and, and, and you don't want to hurt her feelings. Is it among the best cakes? It's certainly a nice cake. <clears throat> That's simple enough. And inexpensive. And very inexpensive. Now look. It's not bad though. It really is. We have got, oh, wait a minute. I oh. hear, <laughs> hi, come in. Somebody sit has down. showed up for our little party. Hi, how Let's, you doing? Hi, what's your name? Tara. Well, how hi, you doing, Tara? Tara. Give us a piece of cake for Tara. Oh. Uh, and uh, we got some letters here too, Bly. Well, there you go. Tara, try some of that cake and see here, if you don't some think of that it's one. just the see, most see wonderful how you like cake that. in the world. Try that cake right there, right here, that slice. This is Hutch's daughter. Did you know Oh, that? now wait a minute, that's a dirty fork. You, you Just use your fingers, you can pick it up. <laughs> well, he's trying. <laughs> and this is Hutch's daughter? <laughs> yes! Oh, who, who is runs that your our, father? Our main camera. Is he a good father? <laughs> good to you? Well, you look like you're a pretty good little girl. Did you try it? Was it any good? Was yeah. it fit to eat? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, go. Oh, ahead. she's going to be on the staff for a long time, oh, I can tell. We got to go. Goodbye.